Two at five tomorrow is the beginning of this year's all-star after-school program at 10 of Mobile's community centers. Students will be able to get help with homework, engage in different activities, and even enjoy a free meal. NBC 15's Lisa Lebrinyak joins us now live. Now, Lisa, other centers in the city have already set up their own after-school programs. Yeah, Greg, and we learned that today. One man went to Mobile City Council meeting wondering why Harmon Thomas in Maysville uh, is not included in the All-Star program, but we found out that's because Harmon Thomas already has its own set of volunteers helping with students after school. The All-Star After School program is a way to engage kids with tutoring and providing enrichment services. Shonda Smith is the Deputy Executive Director of Public Works for the City of Mobile. She says in the past they haven't been able to have a program like this because there wasn't enough staff. Now we have the ability to pay for additional staff that would engage its kids in fun activities to make um, learning fun. These are the 10 all-star locations across Mobile. This program caught Cedric Miles' eye, prompting him to come to this week's city council meeting, wanting to know more. I think it's good that, that the city's starting these programs from 5 to 16, where hopefully we can catch some, they, they can catch some of those problems before the problems get bigger. Miles was the one wondering about Harmon Thomas Community Center. So Light of the Village is at Harmon, I believe they're at Figures Community Center, and so they were able to bring in those programs. So we went to every other center that did not already have an after-school program in order to make it um, equitable across the board. This program begins Wednesday and ends December 15th. It's free, ages 5 to 16, Monday through Thursday, 3 to 7.30 p.m. Now you can register your child through Mobile's Parks and Rec page. We also have a link to that on our website, mynbc15.com. I'm live in Mobile, Lisa Libraniak, NBC 15 News.